What is up YouTube? Live via satellite here and today we are talking Kingdom Manga Chapter 606 and in particular guys we're just talking first thoughts after reading the chapter. Alright guys, so I just got done recording a live reaction for chapter 606, but since I know I take forever to edit and I've been wanting to start uh, having something released the day the chapter actually drops, I decided, you know what, I'm going to talk about it a little bit right now. That chapter was crazy to me. And what's crazy about it is we see that both Roboku and Osun are able to learn things like on the fly. And this isn't something new to us, but seeing it in action is a whole nother thing, especially the level of techniques that they're able to learn. Because something that happened in this chapter that I actually found very interesting was that I actually think in these last few chapters while Osun was uh, figuring out what Roboku was doing and how he had learned about origins and everything like that, not only did he figure what Roboku was doing out, he actually taught it to himself on the fly. And at the end of the chapter, when we saw Usain setting all of his people up, getting them into positions, telling them that these guys would be here, just be ready for them, and making a lot of moves that almost appear instinctual, it was almost like he was experimenting with his own army on the spot. Especially when we see him at the end say like, well, well, when viewed in that manner, origins become surprisingly clear. So to me, the way Usain made that statement, this is his first time actually trying this, which is something that just kind of blew my mind. And it's really crazy because it's almost like he used the Sharingan and just stole everything Roboku had learned. And I don't want to look like I'm giving Osun all the praise because even when it comes to Roboku, what he did was no small feat. Roboku got all of this information from fighting against the Duke, right? And he took years to perfect it and years to like master it and learn it and implement it in his own army, which is already a crazy accomplishment. And they're actually able to do all these things and do all these maneuvers without Roboku even having to give them the orders. And it's actually the first time we've seen a hybrid army that can actually use both instincts and strategy. Instinctual generals used to be this thing that a strategical general couldn't even begin to deal with. In fact, in order to deal with them, the thing they would usually try to do is what? Match up another instinctual general with them. But now after figuring it out, it looks like Roboku has essentially unlocked hockey in Kingdom. Like, you know how like before hockey in One Piece, like nobody could touch a Logia because they were just like so OP and everything went through them. But then after hockey was introduced, it kind of evened out the playing field where you were actually able to touch a Logia. Well, to me in Kingdom, those instinctual generals were almost like Logia types. And he had like that little slight advantage. But now going against people like on Roboku's level, that whole instinctual trump card might become irrelevant. But yeah, this origin stuff is just crazy, man. Leave it up to Roboku to be able to find a way to be able to teach instincts. And the way Osun actually explained origins by comparing them to martial arts was just brilliant. But we got a lot to talk about and we'll talk about the rest in the uh, review slash live reaction. And I'll see you guys then. Peace out.